What's up, guys? My name is Spooky, and I'm super, super excited to talk to you guys about Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, announced for 2019 and being worked on by the homies over at Arxis. If you're interested in signing up for the PS4 beta, please head over to their page right now, grandbluefantasy.jp. I'll also put a link in the description for you guys. Anyway, we're going to be taking a peek at some of the previous trailers. There'll also be links for these in the descriptions as well if you'd like to see them. There were three trailers in total that we've seen. The base trailer, a trailer for Loane, and finally the recently released Daigo vs. Fudo match trailer. Alright, anyway, this first character we meet is Catalina. And we'll be seeing some footage of Gran as well. This first part of trailer number one features gameplay of both these characters, in fact. Anyway, this first section, it looks like they both have some chain combos that they can cancel into specials, as you see. A nice grab here and a little mix of the moves that both characters can do. That looks like a super of some kind. And that looks like a parry. This last part here with Catalina makes me think of an instant kill in Guilty Gear or a distortion finish in Blast Blue. Not sure if that's something they would include, but it does look very flashy. Alright, here's that first section slowed down a bit. So you can get a better peek at the special cancels. That's definitely a grab. Good little mix of moves here. That's almost certainly a super. That's definitely, I'm not sure if that's something only Catalina has or if all the characters have that, but that's definitely a parry of some kind. It makes me think of the parries from Akatsuki Blitz Comp or some of the modern games. All right, next we'll be introduced to the character Charlotte, or Charlotte if you prefer. This character is definitely a pixie style character. Also has chain combos, as you see. That looks like an uppercut of some kind. Another chain combo in the special. Wow, that special looked awesome. What was that? She also has one of these cool supers. I can't tell if it's a super or an instant kill slash distortion finish style move. It does look incredible though. Let's see that one more time. That's definitely a chain combo. A little intro there. That's definitely an uppercut of some kind. She looks like she has some air cancels or air specials perhaps. That's another chain combo in the special. And there's that crazy spinny special. That thing looks dope. Finally, we get to see this super or whatever it is again. Also looks incredible. Man, someone's getting blasted. All right, next up, we're introduced to Lancelot and Fairy. And these two characters are also pretty orthodox, I guess, but a little less orthodox than the previous characters that we've seen. Uh, Lancelot, especially, we'll see in this trailer, is a big mix-up monster, it looks like. Longer combos and better mix-ups. You see a combo starting off with what looks like an EX move. Nice little jumping combo and a cross-up fireball setup as well. Fairy, for her part, a lot of little combos, that looked like an air throw perhaps. Oh cool, and that is definitely a wall bounce combo. Alright, one more time. So first we're going to see this Lancelot combo. That definitely looks like an EX move or something like that. You can see the orange glow. That ground pound, by the way, we'll learn more about it later, it appears to be invincible. And that cross up setup looks sick. I wonder if he has multiple strengths to the dash through. That looks like a throw. That looks like a range throw. That looks like an air throw. Perhaps she has multiple throws. And here's the wall bounce combo once again. All right, so these are the characters that we see in the initial trailer. All right, guys, so while we play through trailer number two, let's recap what we learned so far. So we know that we have chain combos as well as special move cancel from chain combos. We have EX moves of some kind. We have wall bounce specials. Uh, we have a parry of some kind. It may be as Catalina specific. We have supers. And maybe we have instant kill slash distortion finishes, or maybe we have even fancier supers. Alright, so next in this trailer we'll be introduced to Loane. And this character is much more goofy than the other characters are. See an EX move at the start. A little Catalina bot. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, eat that grub. That's a throw. That's another throw it looks like. Whoa, is that low to high? That looks sick. Oh, help me out, homies. Yeah. Mm. All right, and this last super, it looks like he can summon uh, the goddess uh, Yggdrasil. I probably butchered that name completely, but this super is incredible. No idea the conditions. Perhaps it's a time-based thing, or perhaps you have to deal a certain amount of damage to uh, Yggdrasil to get that super to finish. One thing that I did notice looking very closely is that there's a different color spark based on which item Loin eats. Uh, perhaps there's different effects or there's different versions of this eat special move. So we didn't gain a lot of new information about gameplay itself there, but we certainly gained a lot of information about Loin and how he plays in particular compared to the rest of the cast. Now in this last trailer, the Daigo vs. Fudo match trailer, we're going to actually get a lot of new information. 
I wouldn't fault you for not noticing the wealth of information here because it does go by quite quickly. Alright, in this first clip we see Lancelot using the ground pound move from Trailer 1. I've frozen this particular frame to show you that not only does the game indicate when you use an invincible special move, but clearly this move is invincible as you can see that Catalina attempted to press a jump in attack but was unable to defeat it. In this freeze frame we see not only was there counter hit, but there was also a crush property, which makes us think of fatal counter or crush counter props from Street Fighter V. Uh, pretty safe to assume that Arxis would put a system like this in their game as something similar is already in Guilty Gear as well as Blast Blue. Looking at the entire clip, we gain a lot of information by looking at the user interface. If you look closely, each particular special move of the four special moves seems to have a cooldown, and there's also what appears to be a super meter underneath the light bar, and you can tell that both players are gaining meter uh, as they're attacking each other. Here we see some new moves and specials for some of the characters. I also noticed this Just Shield icon here in the user interface, which probably indicates there's some type of Just Defender instant block. Again, would not be a surprise as this is a mechanic that is commonly found in Guilty Gear as well as Blast Blue. I also noticed that Katarina's special move meter regenerated instantly after landing this uppercut special move. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my take on Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and the trailers we've seen so far. Please leave your comments, let me know if I overlooked anything, or let me know if you noticed anything in these trailers that I did not see. Also, make sure to sign up for the beta guys, I'll put the link in the description for all of you, and please enjoy, I hope to see you later on. Peace everyone.